Which was I share my idea. Um, yeah, you just need to find the you, you just need to find the uh, key master who will give you the key, and then you bring it here, and it, then turn it in or use it. It could be it could be a lot of different things. It could be something like you bring a magic wand and say a certain incantation while pointing it at where the gate should be. It could be uh, you you bring a. a uh, the the uh, the hand of Veronica or whatever, just weird shit. So uh, it's one of those things that you don't really have enough information. If you knew more about who put up the gate, because whoever did that is definitely uh, out of your guys's magical league. Okay, I'm gonna pick up one of the cards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Rock. <laughs> Maybe Scan I can it. join. Ooh. Collect a whole deck. You could actually, yeah. yeah. See if okay. it's like hotel door. <laughs> is there is there any reaction to the playing card? Oh, you're trying the playing card on the get none at all, none <laughs> at all, less than none. It's pretty much none. You're, yeah. The sun's high overhead as you walk all the way to a corpse. Grab the card. Walk all the way back. Go. Well, actually, I specifically try to find the Ace of Spades. I'm going to take a luck roll on that. Uh, it's not necessary. Enough looking finds you the Ace of Spades. Done. You go play with that. Nothing. Everybody now give me a evidence analysis roll. Uh, lower is better. I'm looking for at least negative 30. It's not a, a blind guy. Glenn! I fumbled. You fumbled. I fumbled. Right. Both of, both of you guys are like, it's one of the cards. And it just shows you, you know, <laughs> sitting there with a pack of cards. Is it this? Is it this? And Glenn's like, the sun hasn't moved since we've been here. Even a little bit. Blah. So what? I got these cards. Come on, man. Let's try this. <laughs> We're not done yet, Glenn. The yep, simulation is stuck. Right, yeah. They, they're thinking a game of poker may help open it up. They've got the cards and shit. If they lug over a table and some chairs right here at the uh, possible gate area. That's not the cards. <laughs> sure, it is. <laughs> Let's play poker, man. We need to stab the sun. Yeah, that's why I asked Hercule if he knew where the VR control room was because there may be a control room for this thing hidden somewhere. Cut to Hercule. Yeah, and Hercule is just sitting there. He has a shocked expression of somebody who has a cock up their backside and didn't expect it. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if this is, you know, like a la Hunger Games or something where there's a secret curtain and behind that is the control room for this. I don't know. Yeah. Shows the rock looking around, imagining flying monkeys coming in. Yeah. yeah. Have we seen anything that's like incongruous, like out of out of place, doesn't belong here? Yes, the, here the pile of human heads <laughs> in a pyramid. Really? I mean, that didn't fit into the whole 1950s happy sitcom genre that much to you. I mean, unless it was extremely progressive programming that allowed that to come in. Yeah, I'm talking about subtly, subtly oh. incongruous, oh. not oh. obvious things that have fallen on my head. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, so other, other shit that I haven't mentioned? No. Okay. Right, I'm going to the library. Are there cool. any type of books there still? They have they have lots of books that have survived. When you open them up, you notice all the pages are blank on all of the books. Uh, everything. <laughs> all books are completely blank. Yeah, somebody somebody uh, screwed up this. Uh, well, this I think they were always blank as props. No, this shit was like that before. Oh, really? Okay. It was all very yeah. fake. This was very Pleasantville meets Groundhog's Day. Yeah, oh, so we should uh, be playing that radio hit song. <laughs> fake plastic Maybe if we trees. Teach everyone to dance. To get a <laughs> that happens a lot of movies. You guys want to have a dance? Bollywood movies. Bollywood movies. 
I was yeah, seeing in fact, movies. in fact, I'm pulling over. I'm pulling open Windows Media Player and looking for that. That the, 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 you guys discuss. Well, don't don't play it. Don't play it on the recording though, because I don't have the digital rights to the music. And I no, don't. it should just play in my ears. If you can hear it. Oh, let me know. In your ears, have fun. I, what you do to your own ears, I, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people have lost there. Now, also, the corpse of the librarian is outside the library. Judging by the tracks, you think, with your amazing tracking rolls, apparently you guys are all wonderful trackers, apparently she was drawn and quartered by huge fucking T-Rexes going <laughs> in opposite directions because, you know, Extra violence and brutality is uh, apparently the order of the day with whoever or whatever did this. This this song awesome. goes with this gruesome scene so well. You can the tell the that librarian. You should listen to "Fake Plastic Trees" by Radiohead. It's on the the album yeah. "The Bends." While we're doing this entire Burlington thing, <sighs> so go back, rewind the episode, and play that. <laughs> is it? Was it Alex that had a beef with the librarian? I do Are you like still thinking that this is other players? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is this is all their fault. I could totally, yeah, it could have been something the other players did is the fucking beauty of this campaign. You just don't know. Yeah, all this, right. this I sounds look, like... Go ahead. Is the I people... The um, library list, is there a library list of like people who have cards? There's names? a list, it's blank. Well, it's actually a piece of paper. You're not sure if it's the list you wanted because it's blank, but everything's blank. It's all blank. The card catalogs, they have card catalogs. You look in there, all the cards are blank. Everything's blank. I'm gonna try to find the milkman. No problem. <laughs> You guys head over there, and uh, uh, looks like uh, part of the building has been caved in, but you manage to carefully go up the kind of rickety stairs and stuff. You don't find the milkman, but uh, you you do find uh, 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 the initials AK inscribed in a wall, and then under that it just says, I ain't telling you anything. So... <laughs> Apparently that's two different sets of initials, you know. I carved God damn it Kinley into the wall. All right. So V R. You guys poke around. You're thinking that you're all going to die soon and you hope that you don't respawn here, because if you do, then you're going to be in a death loop. As a GM though, I'm here to tell you when you run out of food and water and give up on life. Then I will be kind and respawn oh, we're, in a different zone. We're good. I, I restocked my bag. Are we, Glenn? Yeah. Are we? Are we now? Are we now? I restocked my bag before we came. Oh yeah, you, you've uh, you've got at least a week, week and a half of food, food and the bed and breakfast and other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it'll, it, you're you're before gonna we run probably... out, We'll go down in the bomb shelter and see where that takes us. Hmm. All right. Yeah. And there's some food in the market. Yeah, we got a, we got a, a little while yeah. here before we, we start to death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you said cut to two weeks later, now you're on your yeah. fucking... You then know, we're fucked. We've got a little bit of water left, and we're just trying to make it work. Everybody have their cap full for the day type shit. Okay. Let's try sleeping. No. <laughs> I'll stay on watch. Do they have a key making machine at the hardware store? No. Ah. Do we all have to sleep, Glenn? Is that what you're saying, man? We all slept last time. Yeah. All right. But it might not work anyway if the sun is stuck in the sky. Yeah. We can give it a try. I. Really, I'm gonna I'm gonna hurt you if we come back and we've died in our sleep. <laughs> I want to know where you guys are gonna go to sleep. Very specifically, please. The bed and breakfast. Oh yeah, that is the most comfortable, uh, although obvious place. But yes, most comfortable ever. 
So everybody wants to go to sleep? That's what we're doing. We're taking a nap. Eat the food Excellent. first. No problem. Yeah, you, you. I'm assuming you guys eat and drink when you when necessary, and you're trying to be sparing as opposed to picking out. Um, I'm going to try practicing some spells before I go to sleep. Oh, you yeah. hope you hope that it, going to sleep when yes. time is stopped will actually give you a full night's sleep and restock your magic um, points, but you're not sure. About right. the spells, I think it was the police that came after you here, so maybe they're all dead, but we were told <laughs> never to anyway. cast spells um, here. I'm going to try my, my major I guess spell. I already cast a, the stone spell and nothing happened. So. Yeah, on one point. Success. Okay, so I cut myself and heal myself, and it cost me three magic points. I try to teach you guys some magic. Ooh. You're all teaching first, or the spell always, first? always teaching first. Ooh, I made yep. teaching. Ooh, hey. Shit! Now the spell. What are, what are you trying to teach them? I'll try to teach them the meta magic. Ah, the first first spell spell helper. Magic tree. Spell yeah. helper. Spell <laughs> no. Is that fumble? Mm, yep. You can never teach them that spell. Ever, ever, ever. You can teach other players, but not them. Oh, Please I think a hero it. coin might be a good idea here. Please make a note of it. They don't need to learn that. I've That's got a reroll. Re I'll play a reroll. God damn it. I'd rather have you make notes like, can never teach this, 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 to this. <laughs> well, it's a fail. Huh. Pages and pages of all your failures. <laughs> Oops. Lost that page. Oh, fuck it. So, all right. I'm, I'm going to try, try and put, teach. Uh, I'm going to try and put some fires out, too. Yeah, you take care of the town a little bit. Oh, that kind of fire, I see. Is that a fumble? That is not. Oh, that is a fumble. So Excellent. I can't do that for the rest of the day, full magic points. And the fumble deck. Okay, bring up the fumble deck. No problem. Massive strain. Whatever you uh, tried to do costs you both hit points and magic points. See the amount below. Holy shit, this is a big one. Though this damage may not be negated through use of hero points, spending a hero point will allow you to reroll the damage you take, or you can spend a hero point to get a new fumble card. Essentially, you manage to give yourself D10 uh, magic points loss and D10 hit points loss. Yeah. Um, does anybody have a reroll they can trade trade me? If you if you if you kill yourself, I'll have your head dramatically explode. Okay, camaraderie is what I'm going to trade to you. Sounds oh, good. Um, yeah. And uh, I removed tracks. All right, I accepted the trade. I don't think a reroll gives you a new fumble card, though. No, it gives me a it gives me a reroll on the fumble. Oh, yeah. I see. Carry on. Yeah, that's a, that's just a fail. What tree did you want me to try to teach you? I haven't made the teach yet, but. I didn't make it, but what one did you need? I think me? the one you wanted for no. me was silent moving. I want air. Okay. The sound tree? I don't have air. Do you have the sound tree? Okay. Well, she already I, failed I don't have the sound so. tree either. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try and teach. teach. I'm going to try and teach silent moving to them. Okay. Go that cool. teaching. Yep, okay. So, everybody eventually falls to sleep. I, I did do a remove tracks. Oh, good. So, you have no tracks just around your little area. Not obvious at all. I love it. So, in the morning, everybody give me a sandy roll as the sun is exactly where it was, making it really obvious as you've all had a good night of sleep. <laughs> So the space-time distortion of this is super obvious before you kind of deny it to yourself a little bit. But I failed. What's the damage? D6. You'll eventually Wait. max out space-time distortion and not care anymore. Space-time distortion? Okay. Six again. How much How much are you up to in your space-time? I'm going to check and see if that goes past max. If it, um, if it does, you just take what you had left till you maxed it. 
No, I got 13 out of 14. Ooh. So I take all six. Nice. Yeah, roll that willpower. Want to watch you punch uh, one of these guys in the face when you wake up? <laughs> uh, I have eaten so much sanity this time. Yeah, uh, I failed my will times three, so I three. Need to uh, go he's hang out in the sir kitchen for a few months. It, it, just, it, it burns! It burns! Ah, it's burning me alive! The sun! No! No! I want you guys to both imagine being woken up like that. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. <laughs> and it goes on for a long time, too. I'm just screaming about it. Possibly even after the fucking sanity part has stopped. <laughs> I'm still alive, but I'm very badly burned. <laughs> there, there, Rock. There, there. I'm very badly burned. Do we get our magic points back, Logan? Yes, you do, oddly enough. By the way, Glenn, you've still got over 42 cent. Everything's fine. See? Mm -hmm. See? Then it won't be, but right now it's fine. Hot pockets. I am trucking towards my first insanity. I started with 65 points. I'm down to 48. God yep. damn, that's pretty good for one session. Yep. I've been rolling max on all my sand balls. Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. Okay, so you guys are all awake. You've gotten back your magic points. Nobody was injured. Everything the same outside. Uh, the fires have stopped. The sun isn't going anymore. Are all my Smoke. possessions still with me? Yeah, oddly enough. Okay. Nobody's robbed you during the night while you're asleep. It's kind of a disappointment. Does it seem like the bodies have aged more? Not even a bit. Huh. Ew, the smell is never going to abate. Yeah, it's it's not as bad as it could be after, like, days and stuff. Plus, there appear to be no flies nor insects uh, dealing with the bodies at all, which is just disturbing to think about on another whole level. Mm, so, basically, time stop. Plus, there's no bugs and insects here. But there are birds, but we can't see them. Bird hear soundtrack. Birds. Yes. <laughs> Where's the bird soundtrack coming from? You're not Let's sure. It that. seems to be kind of like all around. Okay, it's not. It's not like super loud and annoying. But you're like you hear like a whippoorwill, and you're like, motherfucker! I know you don't exist. <laughs> So I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to have a replenish throw if anybody else is. I don't know how good your cards are. Their cards are pretty sexy, I'm thinking, but Yeah, that's what I think too. Haste, opponent fails, replenish. God damn. His cards are too sexy. You need I've to gotta re roll skill plus ten. Uh, I've got a business plus twenty now. So He's got and some weird shit. And camaraderie. Hmm. Right. So you would pitch probably one. Yeah. And Scott would pitch none. So you Scott would get two. You would get and that's not worth it. Hmm. Yeah. I'll just try and say clever shit. <laughs> this time was weird here to begin with because this kept looping the same day over and over again. Now it's like stuck at the same time in the same day. Yeah. Somebody stopped the simulation. We need a key. How do we find a key in this place? Or do we have to go somewhere else? I mean, it's a magic key. It could be anything. It could be thinking of zebras with boots on while you're standing on your head. It could be a leaf. Out of the many well, thousands of leaves there are. <laughs> it's, I imagine it's going to be something... That, specifically crafted not like you know just throw 500 rocks at it type of we, scenario we'd have to know. meet the person who did this and steal it from him I think we don't want to meet them no that's what I'm saying <laughs> but there is uh, 
I thought it was described that you could unlock it from this side. With a key, yeah, but we don't know what the key is. I mean, it could be a finger, it could be a, a Care Bear, it could be a Smurf, it could be a Smurf hat. But you could would think Smurf that toes. it's not a Smurf. It could be Smurf Probably. berries. Nope. Seem kind of stuck there also. It's catching. Oh, oh no. Sorry. La, 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 la. Okay. Like, the key should be on this side of the lock, probably. Yeah, and then we can smurf it. I think you're uh, not done waking up. Let's just step aside, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Having a dream. Very lucid dream. Yeah, the sun. The sun was burning. It shows, it shows him look at the sun, and instead of the yellow face, it has a blue one. It's going, oh, my God. <laughs> it's like the Teletubby sun, but blue. <laughs> yes. Rock, it's Papa Smurf. Wake up. Hey, Glenn, we're going out in the hallway. <laughs> Finding some apples. Okay, yes. I'm coming with yes. you, Papa Smurf. Oh, this is going to be great when I get this. It's going to be great and sandy. I, right. I'm totally, I'm just practicing right now. This is oh, going to yeah. be awesome. No, that's, that's fine. Yes. Always, always uh, play your insanity as a quirk until it becomes there. And then, you know, it's like police officers like, you know how fast you're going? No, Papa Smurf. Are you mocking me? No, <laughs> Papa Smurf. Hey, get out of the goddamn car. You know? I don't know how fast I was smurfing. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys wander around. The town is exactly like it was before you were wandering around earlier, yeah. before you slept. Are my covered up tracks still covered up? Uh, yes. Uh, the area that uh, uh, Glenn managed to obliterate with his uh, uh, you can't track is pretty much the oasis of no tracks in a track filled area. You know, somehow we're not affected by the time stop, so we're somehow external to this simulation. Well, the gate should, st to whatever it was, and the bomb shelter should still be open then. You want to give that a shot? Or we could, you know, search this place street I feel by like street we... and see if we can find something that looks like a magic key. I want Maybe to if we throw the bodies into the vortex, then they'll respawn. But the whole thing stopped. <laughs> Apparently, Glenn. uh, Glenn's also losing uh, a lot of his yeah. brain. Running out of ideas here. <laughs> so that's I, got right a card. I got a card. Wanted to go to the police station. Well, well where yeah, you? I was gonna... Go ahead. Police station. You guys head over to the police station. It looks pretty beat up. Like, there was a major combat here, and the people that were here, judging by the bloody scraps of uniform and stuff, uh, one guy being uh, having been bitten in half and stuff, you're guessing they were on the losing side. Then they said, we hit the rampage option on the police station a few <laughs> times, so we're bored of it. The police station is pretty much just fucking mashed up rubble, like something was really angry here. Can I check out the cell block? Uh, you you carefully walk across the top of the rubble to where you think the cell block might be beneath you, but you're not sure because it's just rubble now. And you go, you're standing on this, going, okay, I think this is it. Okay, not going to find any keys here, got it. <laughs> you're balancing on the rubble and shit. I, right, I'm going to make a parkour roll to, to fancily get off of this thing. At quarter. <laughs> Uh, right, he might just to flip off. Uh, uh, the other guys who are not busy showing off their lead skills, uh, give me luck rolls at negative 30. If you make it by negative 60, something special. Yes. Oh, Sheila. Nice. So, uh, Sheila is the only one who made it. Right, you find a uh, red phone among the rubble. It's not plugged into anything, but it, it's red <laughs> and... Uh, it's it's the old fashioned uh, bake light type of phone, uh, as in Commissioner Gordon's phone. <laughs> yeah, Logan, bake light is black. 
Yes. Uh, well, you can always color it, um, but uh, it, it appears not to have any numbers that need to be dialed or anything like that. It's just a phone. I'm going to listen to it. You pick up the phone to listen to it, and you hear, we're on our way. <laughs> I say... Hello? There's no answer. Nothing else happens. You're just no sitting there ringtone? going, no, not, not even that. There wasn't one when you fucking first put it up, and then the creepy voice said, we're on our way. You're like, I hang it up, <laughs> and then I'm going to listen again. <laughs> what did you hear? I'm not telling you yet, Rock. Oh, my God. When, does, when you do it again, you hear, agents are en route. And then it goes dead again. Okay, I hang it up again. <laughs> so, blah. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Maybe there's uh, a cleanup team that can fix this. Maybe we should head for the bomb shelter. Oh, I, no, I want to wait for these guys. We should saying. probably, like, if this is the anti magic squad or something, fumble danger sense. Logan, I pick up the phone and listen. Agents are on the way. So, either people are coming for Anti-Magic Squad. A whole bunch of other possibilities. Or that is just like a prop recording. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say situation normal. We're all okay down here. No, no need to check. We're fine. Uh, wait, radiation leak. We have a radiation leak. Very dangerous. Don't come. No no Danger sense. You guys want to roll it. Danger sense at the phone. At the, the agents coming. Yeah. No. It's fine. Crit, crit danger sense. Run, bitch. <laughs> that one's for the rock there. Run, bitch. Run now. The other two are sitting around looking happy and self-satisfied. You're I, thinking, if I'm if I'm here in another 30 seconds, I'm going to die. We need to get the hell out of here now. Oh. Okay. I, said I start about... bolting for the uh, bomb shelter. Give me a sprint roll. Success. He sprints like he is on crack or smurf berries. Hey. What do you two do? Get back here. I run after him. <laughs> I let go of the phone, put okay. it down, and I okay. run after. All right. Everybody give me a stealth roll to be watching when shit happens. <laughs> Success. Uh, yep. Getting there. You guys are uh, hiding yes. behind one of the homes on the way to the bomb shelter. <laughs> And you see a big black Lincoln Town Car looking thing pull up, and a couple of guys with suits get out, and they look around the rubble of the police station, and then they look at each other. They both have like earpieces in. Um, yeah, they they look pretty much like uh, Men in Black. They then uh, get back in their car and begin slowly cruising down the main street of town. Keep in mind, you're on the north-south street, Elm Street. So you're not currently... Eventually, they'll get to you, you're thinking. But right now, they seem to be going east or heading east. Slowly. All right, guys. Let's carefully looking make our way to the bomb shelter. Good job. They Sounds seem good. unfriendly. I don't think we need the ninja. They're pretty far away, but... Yeah, they, they, they really are. I don't even need a roll if you just walk over to a bomb shelter. You pretty much just make sure the houses are between you and them. You're good. We just get the hell out of here. Out. Oh, right? You guys don't want to play with them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. You guys, uh, I believe, everybody can give me memory rolls on something here. Because I think you've seen the news story somewhere else. I made memory. Not quite. There was something you remember there, Glenn, about there being a whole bunch of that same kind of car, same car and everything, that appeared 
in red carpet when there was some sort of big gang fight thing and there was just tons of those cars around and the everybody's really mad about the government coming and killing gangbangers and stuff like that do you remember that news story nope Super. okay there you go so yeah same exact car yeah that was that. that was the one where he's working you murder hobo <laughs> what one of the guys, like, they drove by in a car. There was a gang war going on. They drove by in a car and, and killed a reporter. And the guy next to him said he's working in murder hobo. And then the gang war kept going, and the black car showed up. And... So you they guys head him. over to the... the uh... a murder hobo? Hmm? They called a murder hobo? <laughs> they, they didn't call me a murder hobo. No, they called the, the, the guy in the report. Who was sure. trying to kill the reporter? The reporter was at work. You're not allowed to do that in red carpet. He has amazing, like, patchy memory. It's like he, I, I know which scene he's talking about. And it's like, I'm taking this scene and kind of putting it in with this other thing because it kind of happened at the same time, but I'm missing the main point of what the memory role was for. This is a beautiful example of a failed memory role, and I like it. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> You guys head over there. It's it's the the hatch that goes down is kind of like a round submarine wheel that you got to do the big body twist to open, and then it like. And when you open it up, uh, in addition to the darkness and stuff, and the the rungs with frost in it, a bit of it's not smoke. It's actually like steam, like it's really super cold down there, and it's warm up here, so you get steam. Just, just a little bit. Mm. And you realize that uh, you do remember there was some, uh, possibly, if you choose to use some of your items, that warm clothing at the uh, electronics store, like the, uh, I made the bundle up to do my electronics trade or whatever. But currently, uh, the guys in the big uh, Lincoln car are driving around near where the clothing is because it all, right. all comes together. It is a thing of fucking wow. beauty. Well, we need to get some warm yeah. weather gear. Uh, I've, weather got, gear. I've got stuff in my bag. For three people? I've got... I'm thinking your bag is not that big, is it? I thought it was a small bag. Are you saying that you package in like parkas and shit in that little space? You have like... The little shock like, aluminum foil capes. No, no, let them let talk. Let them talk. I have like a tarp and a two person tent that we can probably all squeeze into and the little I don't think work well folding the sleeping bags. And... Oh, yeah. If you've got like those space blankets. Yeah. That might help, but really we need cold weather gear. It's not good walking around gear, but it's good. Not freezing to death overnight gear. If you yeah, if you're making a campsite, then that shit would be better. But having like parkas and gloves and shit, especially with that metal ladder that looks like if you're stick your tongue to it, then you'd be that kid. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna, gonna have my to walk gear that I got sure. my un my undefined gear from the hardware store. Uh, if you if you go back for it, but like I said, the guys okay. in the spooky okay. car are cruising around right now. That might be Rock's only piece of gear, which leaves you two with each one extra piece of gear. So it's better if you just drop Rock on his head through the fucking uh, one person can climb down at a time ladder. And if he survives the however long fall, then he can tell you if anything else is needed or whatever you choose to do. Each of you could get two pieces of gear. So that's four pieces of gear, and I've got one piece. That I haven't gotten yet. We could see if we can get Parkers at the at the hardware store. Each of them get three pieces of gear. Cold weather will count as one. And okay. then uh so essentially you guys are up to seven total pieces of gear. Everybody's getting a cold weather suit when if when you can get by those guys, they'll leave you guys with four pieces of gear. But okay. what you need uh, is it covered by uh the sewer bag? Quite possibly. His shit is lightweight, new, modern. The stuff in the 1950s shop, opposite. 
Although right, so it's still kind of futuristic to him. He's like, ooh, look, Coleman Lantern, <laughs> that one person can carry the time. So I burned my piece of gear on the on the warm weather stuff. Again, but you have to go to there to pick it up because you didn't get it yet because you didn't know you needed it. You just knew there was gear there. And these scary guys are driving around in town slowly eyeballing shit. And eventually they're going to come down the street you're on and then they might fight you unless you're playing some sort of weird game of cat and mouse with them. Uh, I'm playing some kind of weird game of cat and mouse with them. I'm going to wait until they look over the area, hide in the forest, you know, then come out when they're gone. And... Oh, I, what do you guys think about his plan of come out when they're gone? That sounds, well, stealth when they're gone. But yeah. yeah. Well, you guys can act stealthy, but when they're gone, it's really no need. So I'm not. Oh, oh when they're them. completely gone. No, I, I thought they would continue policing here. I'm gone. Oh, no, they, they leave after like a half an hour. They don't even get out of their car. They just stick to roads and slowly <laughs> drive around, and no. then they just leave. Yeah, okay, so well, we leave our them. job is done. Wait them out. We wait them yeah. out. Yeah, the super. So I was just curious if you guys want really wanted your shit now. Like fuck them, I'm stealth again. <laughs> Ear muffs. <laughs> Got your earmuffs. What are you gonna do? All right, so you guys get that. Is there any other stuff? Now is the time you when you are like, oh, let's loot the store. Uh, you guys have some rope. It's not a lot of rope, but you have some rope. It's okay rope. It's not great rope. It's closer to gym class rope. And as far as do they have good I, rope there? Well, I yeah, I've, the paracord and my yeah, yeah. You you've back. got you've got good shit. I'm talking about what is available on site. Okay. Uh, pretty much the shit that they make you climb in gym classes. The kind of rope you can get on site. Yeah. Okay. Which is horrible. Well, and they, Scott, let's refresh our memories on what's in the go bag. Uh, all kinds of shit. Mm -hmm. There's energy bars and the water packets, uh, rope, tarps, the foil sleeping bags. Um, there's a saw and a knife and a multi-tool, scissors, okay. first aid kit, ponchos, flashlight, radio. Gloves, duct tape, matches. Okay. I'm thinking we should probably rig some sort of guy line down the down the tube so that if we slip on the ice we wind up just dangling from a rope instead of falling. It's it's not that thick of ice, just so you know. I mean you're gonna get a bonus to your climb roll going down there, and being on a guy line is only good for the first person, maybe two, if you leave somebody really strong up. After that, the third person's fucked. Right, right, right. Well, you can use a python. You got pythons, right? I Python. Have a Python yes. and pythons. Um, yeah. Okay. You, so, what's yeah. pythons in there? Yeah. God Not, damn. Well, I bought those separate. That wasn't in the uh, bag. But I bought those when I was looking to go to the do stuff at the Shadow Academy. Um, I'm looking at my backpack, and I have modern lockpicks. Ooh, in my yeah, backpack. Lock picks too. Okay. Um, the lock pick what, what do we think is the problem here? Like, we're going to go down the ladder and then free fall? That would suck. Um, I you, imagine we're going to get the ladder and fall. Yeah, I don't know. There might be a drop afterwards. I, we don't know where that gate's going to lead, but it's, it seems to be a gate. Well, 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 first, first figure out what else do you want for your four pieces of gear. Now is the yeah. time where you must yeah. choose. Free parachutes? They don't have that. <laughs> this is a 1950s hardware store, sir. I know. That they got there. I mean, one of the cool things they've got, have you ever, ever seen those, like, uh, leather skirts with pockets in that, like, workmen wear? They mm -hmm. got those. They have, like, the full... Uh, the one piece suits for like if you want to paint your house, shit like that. <coughs> Examples. Um, I've got in my bag Ziploc bags, gas detector, a hatchet slash hammer slash crowbar slash wrench, a shitty. He has a beacon okay. tech that can do other shit. While we're digging around, I say, fellas, now that it seems like. 
The cool card car gang has left. There's no longer an urgency for us to go to the bomb shelter. That's true. true. <laughs> and so interested, lost after much discussion of yeah, the air, selecting cold weather outfits. I mean, we still so can. I feel like say. research is needed, but that might just be my. Own I'm out of ideas here. I mean, yeah. I might have to go somewhere else and find a key and come back. We need to find about but, keys. We need to find about Blight of the Brotherhood and what they would use as a key. Right. Blight Brotherhood is apparently the gang that took this out. So where would that information be? In another zone. Everything here is blank. If, if there's anything written about them, you right. have to remember that you have to leave survivors to write about things. Yeah, I don't think there's much oral tradition happening right now either. <laughs> oh, by the way, as a side note, uh, many of the corpses are missing hands. In addition to fingers, I mean. Because you always have to provide your local warlord with a necklace of fucking fingers. So, I'd say loot the hardware store and go through the, the yeah, gate. Pick, pick out, your, pick out your four extra things of gear then, please. Right. Discuss it amongst yourselves. Whatever. Right. Winter gear. And yeah. Let me know what it is so I can say, no, they don't have that. You're on crack. <laughs> Let's get some ten penny nails just in case we have to crucify somebody. They, you can you can have a bucket of ten penny nails if you want. <laughs> but I never know when a crucifixion is going to come up. Carry that down your ladder. Mm -hmm. How about a tool belt? Sure. Yeah, like I said, the leather pouches thing and loops and yeah, you can hang lots of shit off of you. Yeah. Okay, so that's two more pieces of gear for Sheila and one more piece of gear for Scott. What? I don't know, what are you thinking? I've got a that lighter. Would have. I'm trying to think of our local hardware store, which is like still stocked from the 1950s. It's a super <laughs> small family-owned thing yep. where you buy pennies by the scoop. Yep. So, what do they have? And I keep thinking like dusty old furniture <laughs> that like no one's bought yet. <laughs> it's not a helpful exercise. Yeah. Do we want to? Do we want to bring a ladder and try and stick it down the gate hole and see if it lands <laughs> on something solid? Because it'll have a ladder. It has a ladder. The gate hole does have a ladder as well. Right, but but it's, <laughs> you don't like it's, that one. Yeah, because there might be nothing <laughs> through the gate. Yeah. Okay. If you want to pick up a twenty foot ladder, you can. We like carry it down the street just, like the three stooges we are. Can things just sit halfway through the gate, or would it like get sucked through? That's a great question. That's, that's a yeah. We don't know. Stare intently at it, Glenn. <laughs> I mean, if you guys can't think of anything better, we should try the ladder thing. I'm just gonna go on trust. Just gonna go for it. Mm. I want now. I'm getting creepy. Is I'll even roll a gross out if you want. Uh, I want to try to find a bag, preferably if it doesn't count as gear, but and put some sort of found trophy in the bag of yeah. of cor corpse. What a head, a hand. I'm putting it in the bag. <laughs> okay, you you get human body parts collection. Uh, yeah, just not. As much as I can stand to collect, but not um, but enough to look legit because all I remember is Alex Kindley saying, bloodthirsty women. So if I need some street cred. <laughs> sure. Go ahead and give me a gross out sand roll there as you go around picking up body parts and sticking them in a bag. <laughs> all right. I made it. 
cool. You have a really cool uh, cloth bag as one of your pieces of gear or leather. You have a leather bag. There you go. That way it leaks less from All your right. fucking dripping trophies. Uh, take one point toward gross out. Okay. I collect body parts. My parents would be proud that's, of me. That's messed up. That's actually not a bad idea. You could be the bloodthirsty woman that says we're okay. There you go. Yeah. This is my idea. Yeah. I'm so glad that you verbalized it for me, Rock. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> idea. I love it. I, I like it when Rock mansplains your ideas to you <laughs> so that you know what you were talking about. That's, that's the way it should be, I think. <laughs> what are you talking about, Logan? I'm just saying I understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Rock. It's not you, Russ. Russ is oh, awful. okay. Russ is okay, but, you know, when you're wearing a porn stash. <laughs> okay, I'll start playing that. That's cool. <laughs> Eventually, you'll so get yeah, a little lady. That's a good <laughs> idea. I just got an idea, Dana. <laughs> in case you didn't know what to do with the gross body parts in your bag that you've been working on. <laughs> oh, Russ, you should get a fake porn stash some sometime, you know, or make one out of yarn or something, so you can wear <laughs> it. So yarn. Know. And the sunglasses and the whole oh. snack, yeah. That's uh, that's amazing. Looks so, like super uh, troopers. Yeah. Uh, does does okay. So uh, that's two of the pieces of gear I've heard so far: tool belt and leather bag for body parts. Anything else? I still have looking for a can oh. of WD forty. Sure. Gosh, I don't know what year it was invented, but they came they... out in the fifties. I just looked it up. Great. Yeah, there you go. I knew it was fucking forever. By the way, uh, for Dana, I need her to list specifically what body parts you take as it may be important. <laughs> I hope it isn't. I, I hope, hope this is just a like, gross too. thing that I'm doing. It, there's, there, you'd, you'd be amazed just what's going on. You'd be like, I knew without knowing. <laughs> um, well, I'm looking at the most popular takes from the Blighted Neighborhood. N neighborhood. Brotherhood. <laughs> Won't you be my corpse? <laughs> and so, like, I'm going to take an ear. I'm going to uh -huh. take a finger. I'm going to take a hand. Like, what seems to be missing from other people? <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, there, there are occasional people missing arms or legs from being drawn and quartered or having them chopped off or bit uh. off, but... It's not oh, yeah. that big of a bag, I don't think. Super, super brutal death. Okay. Yeah, you mark down the parts you got in your bag. I'm sure that no, I, I, you're just hoping a cop doesn't say, your bag <laughs> seems to be dripping a bit. What's in there? Jello. Jello. I like to keep jello in my bag. I put jello in my sack. <laughs> the little nice. It's a BPA free container. There you go. That may actually work in today's society. So, <laughs> like, isn't that leather? <laughs> I can't be consistent. Um. Okay, we lost video on Sheila. Is that what happened? Yeah, she's back. She's fine for me. Okay, I did for a little bit there. Um, I'm going to plant a crystal uh, at the intersection of Main Street and um, Elm Street. Excellent. Make a note of it. Good idea. Yeah, take a card too. So, uh, what are your other two pieces of gear, folks? Oh, I'm, I got mine. Oh, WD forty, right, Sheila? What's your other one piece of gear, please? Um, I don't know, more flashlight. They don't have flashlights. They got Coleman lanterns with oil that are made of glass and shit, so that they're made so if you drop them, it'll immediately create like a kind of burning area of oil. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, great. Some epoxy might be useful. Do you have? You said you have a hatchet. Super glue. Super glue. Well, Caulk. it would be it would be epoxy in in this. Epoxy. In yeah, it would be the two the two substance epoxy that you mix together. I remember my dad using that shit. Yeah. Horrifying. So you want a tube of uh, double double shit epoxy that can, and it has like two spurt holes and yeah, you have this big fucking metal trigger and you go <laughs> and then you push in the back thing. 
Yeah. No, no, it, it comes it comes in little tubes, Logan. Like yeah, two, little, little tube that, but or you could have one the size of a fucking that. machine gun. Because <laughs> why wouldn't you want that, right? I mean, if she really, if she finds like a bad guy, she wants to glue <laughs> to the ground for some reason. She doesn't want a little tube. She wants a big machine gun size app applica applicator for this fucking shit. Yeah, we could always use more rope. They, but the, the rope is like climb yeah. to the gym ceiling rope. And it's pretty short. It's like three, four meters tops of uh, rope, unless you know how to unravel rope. And then retie it and stuff, with, or braid it together, which is, it. Then makes it lumpy. Why don't you? You, you know, I've got an that. idea. I've got an idea. Why don't you get a garden hose that we can make into a circle, just in case I need to try my um, my transit ritual. The one that only works from one zone and only goes to one other zone. That one. Um, is that the way that works? I we didn't we didn't figure that out. Oh, sorry. Yes, everybody else figured that out. That's the way that one works. Okay. All right. So go, it, that's that's a one way trip from RC to um, to Western. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I put down the hose. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. I've I've got fifty feet of good rope and ten yards of duct tape. Okay. So do you want the, the big fucking huge tube of epoxy that you can try to get cops to think it's a machine gun? Go freeze or I'll epoxy your ass. They shoot. <laughs> or, they or a Phillips head screwdriver. I never have one of those around when we need it. True. And you can stab people with it for D4 damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. then I'm I'm going to go for a flathead screwdriver because those are more universal. <laughs> oh, you know, we're going to need a Phillips head, I'm telling you. Uh, a flathead can do a Phillips head. I bet you we'll need Allen wrenches. That's, that's what we'll find. <laughs> I've got the multi-tool. Come on. How multiple is it? <laughs> Does it have all those different sizes of Allen wrenches like, in it, in English and metric? And you start flipping through socket wrenches. <laughs> He just probably doesn't have every Allen wrench. You you take a screwdriver. At first, you're like, where will I keep this? Oh, he's wearing a tool belt. <laughs> <laughs> ah, done. You don't even have to carry it. You just stick it in. He has a slot that's made for it on his tool belt. <laughs> it's good that you make him carry your shit. You think happily. All right. Screwdriver. Let's go, guys. All right. Cool. You guys... And finally head over to the big gaping hole that goes to hell. And, uh, yeah, this big round wheel thing is open. And it's a really cold tunnel. And it's an old-looking uh, metal ladder that's going on down. It's a bit slippery with conjuring. On. You guys suit up in your, we're going to be cold as fuck soon. Um, yeah. Does anybody want to carry anything in their hands while they should be using the ladder and going down? No, it's all in my pack. Super. Everybody give me a climb roll of plus 20 to avoid falling off, possibly knocking some of the RPCs off, and falling an unknown distance into darkness. You guys are pretty much just climbing down into darkness because I don't think anybody owns a cool headlamp light, which would be a real comfort. Success at minus 60. Made it. Scampering down like uh, a I put the flashlight in my tool belt. And so it shines wait. right up, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> so that I can get it easily if I want to look oh, at something. Got it. You look so evil with that light shining under your chin. Yeah. <laughs> want to hear a ghost story? <laughs> I think we're going to be a ghost story very soon. Okay. You guys climb all climb. the way down to the bottom. It appears Glenn doesn't decide to launch himself off the ladder and see how many of you guys can be taken out. It seems like an awful long climb, though. It's kind of frighteningly long, especially in the dark. But eventually, you make it to the bottom. You guys are getting cold even through your fucking warm-ass clothes and stuff. It is really fucking cold. Your breath. And this is kind of cold that if you were to take some water, boiling water... Toss it in the air, you might get snow. That kind of cold. Okay? Right. Mm. It appears that you're in some sort of dark tunnel. Fortunately, Glenn's flashlight makes life easier. 
Does anybody else have a light source, or do I only have to break one flashlight to send you guys back into darkness? You've got glow sticks. Uh, I got a glow stick, yeah. I'll pull out a glow stick. All right, yeah. No problem. It appears that uh, you're at one end of the tunnel, and the tunnel goes that away. I'm going to have a glow stick and a pistol with a chambered round. No problem. Uh, would you like to have it in your hand, the pistol? You will, yeah. Would you like to have your finger on the trigger so <laughs> you can accidentally shoot one of your teammates in the back of the head? No. I'll let you fire a little faster if you do. Nope. I just can't chamber the round while I'm holding a glow stick, so... Damn it. I really wanted you to go, why, yes. Yes, I would. Okay, so you guys begin walking, and eventually you come to a, a some sort of natural land bridge. This tunnel appears to be not the kind of thing one would normally have in their bomb shelter. It's like you're somewhere else almost, uh, but there's a natural uh, land bridge. with It goes into darkness. Even using his flashlight, no bottom and stuff exists. I'm sure if you throw in a glow stick, you'll get to see it for a while until it falls away into darkness. It's deeper than you want to go. But uh, there's, yeah, how do you want to get across this? It's not super delicate looking, but it's delicate looking enough where you're happy it's still up. How would you like to cross it in order to continue going forward? How narrow are we talking here? Not super narrow. Uh, it's pretty much if you are wanting to uh, go over it, depending on how you go over it, you could be at a bonus or a significant bonus to climb roll. So I like to narrow guys. So it's fair. It's it's narrow enough that if you're like Logan, I just fucking walk across that. I'd say, give me acrobatics to balance. Oh, it's just a few inches then. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, or laying on the floor would be no problem, but it's we scary could, as hell now. Uh, we could monkey climb off of it. How far across? Uh, a bit further than you can jump. I think it's around. Uh, 10 meters or no 15 meters there it is 15 meters oh shit that's 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 far okay yeah it's not a bit farther than we can jump that's that's several uh if you were an olympic jumper you'd have to make two jumps to do that if yeah. you were dressed in shorts and working on a good day and stuff as opposed to heavy clunky parkas underground cold as fuck a little bit scared and carrying a lot of fucking gear I have pretty good balance. I could try and rig something. Or if you wanted to like crawl across it, mm -hmm. it looks like uh, that would be hard to fuck up. Yeah, I'm crawling. Sure. Dana's going for it. Dana, give me a climb at plus 40 to carefully crawl over the land bridge and hope nobody comes and kicks it out from under you as you're crawling. Uh, <laughs> Huzzah! Thank you for that. She's on the other out. side looking at you guys. I do the same thing. Sure, give me a roll. It's good. I have 106 at plus 40, so. That's nice. I don't want no numbers. So he crawls across it, leaving only Glenn on this side. He is terrified to cross the bridge of death. Climb? At plus 40 if you go across on your hands and knees. Made it. Cool. Keep in mind, this is not fast. Fleeing, doing this, would suck ass. Eventually, you guys continue on, and mind track carts start. Um, eventually those get to about a seven meter wide, i.e. the maximum distance an Olympic jumper can jump, uh, divot over a pit in the darkness. Although the tracks themselves still cross, they're kind of twisted and they're like rotting timbers with rusty metal spikes and stuff. If you want to go real slow and safe, I need a climb roll plus 10%. If you say, now nah, I'll just balance and walk across one of those kind of slick mine tracks, then it's acrobatics, no bonus. Well, we're not being chased yet. I throw yeah. caution to the wind and dance across it. Excellent. <laughs> falls in the darkness, never yeah. to be seen by you again. Okay, I'm going to have to pause that. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to pause that. All right, we're good. Oh, no. Uh, actually, you, you double rolled, and your first roll was a 76. Yeah, I said I'll have to pause that, and I said oh. I'll have to pause that. Oh, yeah. nice two points. So he dances for two hero points. 
He's amazing. The thrills. It looked like you kept going to, you know, <laughs> fall over. Man, what an actor. Should be mm -hmm. on Andy show. Under damage, I wrote probably death. So, um, <laughs> how, did, how does uh, Dana Zool do here? We had a, how big was the bonus? <laughs> climbing, uh, I'm doing no it at the slow day. and steady. Yeah. Climb the plus 10. Okay, then we got it. Hooray! See how easy it is. You don't need to be a hot dog like he was. And what does Glenn do with his fucking pockets of steel? <laughs> It just shows um, random shit falling off him as he's trying to cross it. Sorry, go ahead. I've got acrobatics. All right, give me a roll to be as fancy as the rock. So fancy. I nice. made it. Oh, all right, cool. Well done. Yeah, he just goes across it much faster. In the distance, you guys see a very faint light, possibly daylight. It appears that... Um, you're in some sort of old mine. Does anybody have mining skill? 